everybody, I'm Ella and I'm the Plants Meow and today I'm going to be talking about cleaning your plants right after you get them. So this is an important step that you don't want to miss just in case there's any kind of bacteria or pests on your plants. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply my leaf cleaner here. Now this consists of 12 ounces of water, 4 ounces of rubbing alcohol, and a teaspoon of Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Castile Soap. Now, if you don't feel comfortable using rubbing alcohol, just use two cups of water and a teaspoon of the soap and you're good to go. I additionally add the rubbing alcohol just because if there's anything like spider mites on there, I know it will kill them instantly. The soap additionally aids in this as it will suffocate them. This is just me throwing in some extra precautions. So what I like to do is fit as many plants as I can in my sink, and it's a good thing here that they are pretty small, so I'm able to spray them all down. And the reason I like to bunch them all together like this is because I leave them like this for about 20 minutes, and it's convenient so I don't have to do too many batches. So once I finish with the foliage, the next thing I move on to is disinfecting the roots. So what I use for this is Fison 20. I use about a gallon of water and a fourth teaspoon of Fison. So Fison 20 is an algicide, bactericide, fungicide, and viricide in one. So if there's anything on the roots, this should be sure to kill it. And I actually only leave the plants in the solution for probably about 10 seconds. If you leave it in for too long, you risk just killing off the roots entirely. So we're about disinfecting here, not about killing. <laughs> also, please be careful with the solution as it is something that can be harmful to your skin. I'm very careful not to splash it on my hands and if I feel like I've gotten it on myself, I make sure to wash my hands with soap and water in order to get it off. So as soon as those 10 seconds are up, I rinse both the roots and the foliage so that the entire plant is completely rinsed and cleaned off, and then I set it to the side. So I'm going to do that here for all of these plants.
now I have all these Ethereums cleaned and drying and the next thing I'm going to do is pot them up. And here they are potted up. <laughs> so I never wait to pot. I know some people do, but in my opinion, they're already in shock. So I just repot them right away so they can stay in their forever places as soon as possible. And I haven't had any issues with that. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial on how to clean your new plants. And if you have any feedback, please leave it down below. Please subscribe if you want to see more content. And if you like this video, please give me a like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.